And friends said goodbye to a father of three shot and killed by police. Police shot 28-year-old D'Angelo Stallworth after they say that he held a gun at an officer's chest during an altercation. Channel 4's Kamasi Aaron spoke with the friends who used his homecoming celebration as a time to honor his life. With song and dance, the hundreds of people in this sanctuary came together to celebrate the life of 28-year-old D'Angelo Stallworth. He does not make mistakes. I'm all right about it. Friends offered comforting words to Stallworth's grieving family, many wearing the avid Laker fan's favorite colors to honor and remember him. Being here is a celebration. It's not, it, it's sad and we're all mourning. But in time, I know that it, our pain will heal. Jasmine Fontano grew up with Stallworth, and though they weren't related, she considered him family. He's always been uplifted in his spirit as children. When, when things were tough and rough, he kept a smile on his face. You never knew if anything was wrong with him. That's why it's hard for her to imagine him placing a gun at an officer's chest. That's what police say he did just before officers shot and killed him. People came here not only to celebrate Stallworth's life, but also to send a message about his death. Well, it's justice for D'Angelo. Victor Robinson and his daughters were just a few of many who came to the funeral wearing shirts with the hashtag justice for D. The attorney for Stallworth's family says a second autopsy refutes the police story about what led to his shooting death. D'Angelo's like my kid. And, you know, I got kids his age. And it's too many police killings here. And I don't know the answer, but we've, we've got to come to some type of conclusion. On the west side, Kamasi Aaron, Channel 4, the local station.